Hey guys, and welcome back to Minecraft. So today I wanna to do something a little bit different. Today, we're gonna to be doing a replay mod, quick and dirty tutorial for you guys, but I'm also gonna be making this up as we go. So recently, we did a stream where we built a big old tree. That's this clip right here. This is a two hour, roughly two hours clip right here that we're gonna go through and edit up, and I wanna show you guys how to do it. So here, we're in our building with Whip World, and I like doing the first parts of this without anything on it. For now, I'm gonna pause this guy just so we can talk for a bit and get a idea of what this whole thing looks like. So up here in the top left, you have a pause, unpause button for the replay. The one below it is to play your camera pass. So if you set up a bunch of points like there, whoa, I have not had this error before. Uh, What the heck is going on there, man? So, okay, well, anyways, I guess it's just loading things. But you can add a key time frame. Then you can add another key time frame and say like a point right here. And then we can fly over in this way and set another point right here. And we can go back here and you hit that play button and it'll move you over there. This gets me into another point where we have position, position keyframes and time keyframes. These are the most important part of the replay mod because it's how you move your camera around. It's how you make something interesting. So. You can see in this little clip right here, our little guy right there is not moving at all. That's because at the same point in time, so up here on this top one, this is the clip itself. So you can see this goes all the way up to the mid one hour in, or 107 minutes, an hour and 47 minutes more or less. And down here, this is our replay itself where this thing is 20 seconds long. So what we did here was because we're at zero, zero, basically right there still, and we put the same t key, the time keyframe there and time keyframe here. And there's some drilling down below me. I really hope you guys can't hear that. So we're going to go through with this and hope it still stays fine. I'm sorry. I'll try and edit it as much as I can. But yeah, so we have our, our time keyframe here and we have the same one here, but our footage up here is still at zero, 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 which means that our character is not going to be moving. Say we skip up here to two minutes and we go another, eh, let's skip up to like 15 minutes and we'll go through and actually edit this thing. We skip up to another 20 seconds in, and we add another keep time frame, and we go all the way back over here. Let's just say for now, let's just do this. And now we can go through and test this guy. We'll go through and play this, and you'll see for our first 20 seconds, there's always a load time as we're testing. You can see for our first 20 seconds, our character isn't really moving. He's not quite in there yet. And then as we're gonna be getting through this, I'm really hoping this is actually gonna work out. I don't know why our guy isn't standing there, but You'll see here, when we hit that 20 second mark with that timer coming up right there, things are gonna start happening. You can see nobody's really moving around here. Now it's moving like crazy. A lot of stuff's happening, a lot of things are going here. And you can see we're building our tree camera path obviously sucks, but that's how you can pretty much tell what's going on here with how things are going. You can see the tree being built. And that's just a really good idea that you can go with for what really looks like how the camera paths are gonna be working and where everything's going like that for there. So that's pretty much how these things work. You can see at the top here, you can go ahead and click on it and you can remove it, you can add it back, etc. Whatever you wanna do, that all works totally fine. Right here, and we're gonna go ahead and just clear this board right now because we don't need any of these. We're not. That's not gonna be a final clip right there. And that's not gonna be a final. And this guy up here, you can go ahead and click anywhere on it and it'll load you into that area. It's a little bit slower going backwards than it is forwards, just to keep that in mind. But yeah, so I want to walk you guys through now what it actually looks like when I'm making this thing. So now we're actually at the very, very beginning and the world's not even loaded in. So now we're going to run this replay right here. You can see everything's loaded in. Our character loaded in right there. And we're going to go ahead and have this guy building our little tree right here. What I want to do is I'm thinking right here, we go ahead and just do a little time keyframe and a position keyframe. Then we can say, I don't know. I don't want this. I want this final thing to be maybe a minute 40 seconds that's all i want it to be and so let's go ahead and jump in to like let's go jump 20 minutes forward basically so it's gonna load everything's gonna go crazy right here you see now we have some leaves on our face we can unpause the replay and we can say jump this out to like 30 seconds right here and let's find a good area where our camera can be pathed to so let's go with right over here we can add another position key time frame right there Let's go ahead and watch this guy just so we can see what's going on here. We won't do this the entire time, but I wanna really show you guys how this stuff works. It's got another load screen right here, but you can see right there, the guys, he's building the trees, building the tree, our awesome trees coming together here, which I'm really happy with the end result of this guy. So I hope you guys are too. 
But as you can see, he's flying around. It really depends on the type of perspective you can you want to get for where you want the guy going here. But more or less, you can see him building everything right there. And just one thing to note here, you're going to see the sound. You're going to hear the sound. You're going to see the sound. You can't see sound. Um, I guess you technically can now with some things. But anyways, that's irrelevant right now. But more or less, with this guy right here, where all that stuff is going, um, all the leaves, you can hear them getting placed through the Minecraft sounds in this video. Once you render this out, so I'll click this guy for now. So render camera path, and here's all the settings. Leave them all as default. Only thing you want to change is this guy right here, that guy right there, and your video frame rate. Whatever you want to leave it at, whatever your rest of your video is recorded at, change it to that. That is very, very important. If you want to name it, click that. I just leave it at there and just kind of let it go. Uh, you don't really need any of these things, but there's all my settings. I'll scroll through them slowly if you want to match them. But just do everything default. It really, really doesn't need it. And then you hit render, and then it'll render everything out, and that's it. And then you can, then you got your full video, and you're pretty much good to go. So we got that forty, that little thirty second clip right there. And I want to come up here, and we're gonna bring this in at another minute. I'm this drilling is going crazy in the background, so we're gonna skip ahead another forty six or so minutes. Just kind of to get some more work done here on the tree. One thing to note, you can use this scroll bar right up here to go to different speeds. For some reason in the 12.0 version, that's been crashing on me if I leave it running at a high speed for too long. So I don't really use that guy right now. You can go for it and use it if you would like, but more or less I skip it just because I don't want this thing crashing on me. So now we're gonna run the replay. Always run the replay before you put another time keyframe in there because there is a chance where it can save that old type keyframe like that guy right there instead of the new one up here. So we're going to go ahead and do this and we're going to change our camera angle right here just so we can get a little bit of a farther away view just so we can get a better look at it right there and bam look at that right there and now you can see where we have our cursor right here remember this is play camera path from cursor position so we don't have to watch the whole thing again we can just go from straight right here and just watch our new segment which is amazing you don't have to go through and watch all the old stuff so now we're back to where we were in the old one and we're coming straight forward and checking out all this stuff here and just seeing what's going to happen, where it's all going to be going. You can see the trees really starting to come together super fast. And that's pretty much how you guys use replay mod. That's all there is to it. It's not as scary as it sounds. I sucked at it at the beginning because there's no good tutorials I found out there. So I hope this video, one, didn't have a crazy amount of drilling in the background and two, actually made sense to you guys. So I'm going to go through right here and we're going to edit up the rest of this replay footage. But if you guys want to know purely how to use replay mod, that's it right there. That's all you needed to know. That's the whole thing to it. Pretty much pause, play, stop, whatever you want to do. And so we're going to go ahead and just jump right up here to this. But yeah, if you guys, that's all you wanted. Thank you for watching. That's all you guys need to know. You should be good to go there. And it's all about just practice. Just spend some time practicing so you can see our guys up here building. And we got this tree starting to come together right here really really cool and i'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna speed this up a little bit just because our tree starts to come together so we're gonna do 20 second clips now instead of one minute don't overdo the amount of clips points you have in here it's not worth it guys it's really not worth it it just it doesn't work too well but you can also one interesting thing you can see over here on the right side of our screen that little camera going along the path that's where our character our camera point is going to be at every single time from that location so that's just something you can think of as well anyways let's watch this one up and see where it's going from there but this should be the kind of the outline of the tree really coming together the more you go back in the past the longer your load screen is so if it feels like it's sitting there for a long time if you say jumping from the end of the video all the way back to the beginning expect that to take some time you're basically trying to undo a lot of things that happen in minecraft expect that to take a little while it's okay it's fine it really doesn't matter um, it will work sometimes if you if this thing crashes on you the whole thing will just close the whole window will close it doesn't do the gray screen out and of death and disappearing and it really sucks type thing but yeah so we're gonna do one last little clip right here we're gonna jump all the way to the end here and just grab this guy up good to go and we're gonna hit play just to make sure everything's moving here and I want to bring this last one in right down into this area so we can really see the back like full side of this tree Let's go like right, I'm actually think I'm gonna skip all the way to the end of this clip just because I know I did some things at the end that really changed the outlook of the tree. So I wanna go ahead and do that. And I think that's gonna be it right here because I think I was down here ending up the stream right there. Yeah, you can see me carrying around a little fence. We're trying to put little branches there in the tree. But yeah, so we're gonna do one last clip right here and we're gonna go through and check this last guy out right there real quick. 
and then we're gonna get finished up with this video right here and you can see it's hitting not I don't you actually can't see that on your side of the video but I said not responding there for a second but it did come back so that's all that matters and I'll show you guys quickly how I do the rendering thing literally it's just open it and hit render and that's it that's all you got to do but guys, I do hope you enjoyed this video. This is a really quick tutorial for Replay Mod. If there's anything else you guys want me to expand on or explain more of, please do let me know down in the comments below. I really appreciate you guys watching this video. I do hope it helped out. And there's one quick thing that I forgot before we finish into it. An amazing thing with Replay Mod is we didn't record this with shaders on, but watch this. Watch this right here. Video settings, shaders, you can turn them on. That's it, that's it right there. That's the whole thing. You can play without your shaders, then turn it on here and just render with shaders. It'll take a lot extra time. But if you wanna have shaders in your replay, go for it. You can do it, it doesn't matter really how well you can do it. There you go, you, we have shaders in this whole build now. But anyways, back to what I was saying guys. Thank you all for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, if you have any more questions on replay mod, I know a few people have asked me in streams and whatnot in the past. So I really just want to make this video to help you guys out and you guys a bit of an idea on what you can expect, where it's all going, and how to work with this program that looks really scary when you open it up, but it's really not after you get an idea of how to use it. So anyways, thank you all for watching. Have a great day, night, wherever you are, and I will see you guys in the next episode.